Star Science Tutorial 15, TEK 7.5C, Food Web Energy Flow. TEK 7.5C, Diagram the Flow of Energy Through Living Systems Including Food Chains, Food Webs, and Energy Pyramids. See Star Science Tutorial 52, Food Webs and Symbiosis, for more information on food webs. See Star Science Tutorial 2, Scientific Models, Laws, and Theories, for more information on the limitations of food web and food chain models. Energy Flow in Ecosystems Almost all of the energy that supports life on Earth first came to Earth as sunlight, which is radiant or electromagnetic energy. Plants use the radiant energy in sunlight to rearrange the bonds in carbon dioxide and water to make sugar. This process is called photosynthesis. The full chemical equation for this reaction is 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus radiant energy produces C6H12O6 plus 6O2. This chemical reaction changes radiant or electromagnetic energy into chemical energy. The bonds between the carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms in sugar store the chemical energy. Plants are collectively called the primary producers in food webs because they produce all of the food that supports the rest of an ecosystem's life forms using the photosynthetic energy conversion process. Herbivores, animals that eat only plants, get all of their energy from plants. In a food web, they are called primary consumers. All consumers use the chemical energy stored in plants by converting that energy into mechanical or thermal energy in a chemical reaction called cellular respiration. The equation for cellular respiration is exactly the reverse of the photosynthesis reaction. C6H12O6 plus 6O2 produces 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus energy. Animals that eat these herbivores, called primary consumers, are carnivores or omnivores, called the secondary consumers. Animals that eat the secondary consumers are called tertiary or third level consumers. A food chain or food web is a diagram that shows the flow of energy from the plants, or primary producers, to the herbivores, the primary consumers, to the omnivores and carnivores, the secondary and tertiary consumers. The arrows in a food web show the direction of energy flow. A food chain only shows one possible sequence of energy flow, while a food web shows more of the alternative paths of energy flow. No food web can show all of the possible energy paths. In the terrestrial food chain to the right, the plant is the producer, the grasshopper is the first level consumer, the kangaroo rat is the second level consumer, the snake is the third level consumer, and the hawk is the fourth level consumer. In the marine food chain, the energy flows from phytoplankton to zooplankton to small fish, to large fish, to killer whale. In this food chain, the energy flows from the prickly pear cactus, a producer, to the wood rat, a first level consumer, to the weasel, a second level consumer, and finally to the bobcat, a third level consumer. Energy Pyramids An energy pyramid is a diagram that shows the total amount of energy available at each level of a food web. Most of the energy available in an ecosystem is at the lowest producer level. Only 10% of the energy available in the lowest producer level is transferred to the next level, the primary consumers, and only about 10% of that energy can be transferred to the secondary consumers. About 90% of the energy available at any level is used to support life at that level. For this reason, there are relatively few secondary and tertiary consumers in a food web. In the energy pyramid to the right, only 10% of the energy created by the producers reaches the first level consumers, and only one-tenth of 1% 1 of that producer energy reaches the third level consumers. 